So to make our coconut bread, we're going to need one full egg, a pinch of salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, two tablespoons of coconut flour, one tablespoon of cream, you can use heavy whipping cream, no problem. One full tablespoon of olive oil. You can also use ghee or butter or coconut oil, whatever you choose. Give them all a good mix and you will get the lovely bread batter. Once that's done, we just put it into our mug. Give the mug a bit of a shake and a tap down on the board so that it evens out a little bit. And then just microwave it for 90 seconds. And that's it. The bread is ready. Oh yeah. Microwave mug bread without almond flour. Done. Now all you got to do is just cut this into as many slices as you like. And enjoy. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. Alright, so to make the peanut bread, we're going to start with a cup of peanut butter, which is about 250 grams in weight. We're going to add three eggs to that. Then I'm going to put in baking soda, about half a teaspoon, one teaspoon of vinegar, a little bit of stevia, now you can skip this if you like, and a pinch of salt. Then you got to give this a good mix. Now I would recommend probably using a hand mixer because that will work better. But you can use a whisk like I have but it's a thick batter so it's a bit of a struggle but don't worry you can do this you can whip that stuff up anyway once everything is well incorporated together you're going to take a loaf tin or any baking dish butter it up very nicely so that nothing sticks and then put in your batter Now we're going to bake this in a preheated oven at 175 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes or till the toothpick comes out clean. And that's it. After 25 minutes, our peanut butter bread is ready. Now all you got to do is flip the loaf tin and your peanut butter bread should pop right out. Once it's out, look at it for a bit. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? And once you're done admiring your peanut butter bread, it's time to slice it and oh yeah that looks good 30 grams of almond flour half a teaspoon of baking powder one egg and 10 grams of butter so we're gonna add our butter our baking powder our egg and our almond flour to a bowl or to your mug directly and just give it a good whisk till everything is incorporated then all I do is just pour that into my mug. I put it in the microwave for 90 seconds and it cooks. And there you have it. The keto almond bread is ready. All you got to do is overturn the mug and the bread will pop right out. Then of course you can cut it into slices and you have lovely little round toasts. So I'm going to put some cream cheese on one of my toasts, a little bit of sun-dried tomato pesto and I had a little bit of beef mince left so I've made a mini cheeseburger for the third one. And there you have it, your keto bread is ready and I've made all these wonderful variations of it. That's just how simple the keto bread is.